In this video, we are going to look into how to report descriptive and frequency analysis in API style. Now I've created this template here to report categorical variable like gender, mean scores for age, report a construct CSR consisting of multiple items and another construct if for example you have measured a variable across different categories and you want to report a particular construct in your study across different groups in this case the group is countries now here is this template and here is my data i've used blue sky statistics it's a free to use software based on uh, r there are videos available on the youtube channel on how to download how to start using blue sky statistics now here is my data and I'm interested in frequency analysis for gender. Now how to do this? Go to analysis, summary analysis, frequency table. And I'm interested in the frequencies for gender, like how many male and how many female respondents were there in the study. So you select gender from here, the source variables and put it in the selected variables. Press OK. And here are the results. Gender, male, represented by one. The frequency is 414. Gender female, represented by two. The frequency is 360. Here is the percentage, cumulative percentage, valid percentage, and valid cumulative percentage. Now, in order to export this table into Microsoft Word or Excel, just right click on it and you can export it to Excel, Word, PDF, or copy it to clipboard. If you copy it to clipboard, it is copied in the form of text rather than a table. So, it's always a good idea to do it in Excel or Word. In this case, let's use Word might take a few seconds here it is it's done what you need to do is you can simply copy it from here just click this if you hover around the table you will get this mark here just select it right click copy and you can paste it here in your main document Okay, this is an empty column I don't need it just select it press backspace and it will be deleted we do not normally report cumulative valid or valid cumulative percentage so just select it press backspace and it will be deleted you are not interested in not applicable as well so just select them and press backspace it will be removed in API style we've got borders at the top at the bottom and on the top row you've got a bottom border as well so just select the whole table and from borders here select bottom border so this is how you can format the table in APA style apart from this what you will need is you will need to write in table let's say number it one and frequency distribution or gender and in APA style this is in italics so this is how you can report your table in APA style now you just need to add the text here the sample of hotel customers this was uh, from where the data was collected the respondents consisted of 53 point four nine male respondents we can go up to three decimal points if more precision is required in APA style but normally we do two decimal points and forty six point five one female respondents and the total sample size is just go back and here is your total sample size the number of observations that is 774 
seven seven four. You can obviously mention the number of male and female respondents. This is how you can report your descriptive or frequency distribution for a categorical variable. You can right click on it, arrange the table, auto fit to window. Now next is descriptive statistics for the variable gender. It's not a categorical variable in this study. So we will have to take the mean of this particular variable. Now how to do this? Go to again blue sky statistics, analysis summary analysis, numerical statistical analysis. I'm interested in age. So select it from source variable, add it into selected variables. I'm not interested in grouping the variable, so just put it back. I'm interested in mean and standard deviation. Press OK. So the mean is 29.45 if you round it off. 29.45 and the standard deviation is 8.27 so here it is now you have reported descriptives for age as well next up is CSR which is actually measured through eight different items and it's a construct in this study so how do you report a construct in this study? So descriptive statistics, I'm interested in CSR. So analysis, summary analysis, numerical statistical analysis. I put it back in here and I'm interested in CSR. But I'm also interested in the overall mean score for CSR. So I've already transformed the variable and just select it from here. I'll put it here. I'm interested in mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum. That's it. Okay. Now the format is a bit different as compared to SPSS or what we normally report in our thesis or research papers. So we can change the format. Let's first copy it, export it to a word. Here it is. Just copy it from here. And put it in your main document and we can arrange it later so descriptive statistics for CSR now we are interested in reporting the overall mean score of CSR so the overall mean score of CSR was 3.841 with the standard deviation of 0 0.671 so we'll add a preceding 0 because um, if the standard deviation can go higher or can go over 1 then we add a preceding 0 in APA style if it does not or if you know that it won't go over 1 then we do not add a preceding 0 now what does this overall mean score show this shows that the perception in the customers with regards to CSR is positive because the scale in the study was from strongly disagree to strongly agree the overall tendency of the customers show that the people have have agreed to the statements rather than disagreeing with the statements so there is a positive perception among the people with regards to CSR so we'll remove the word negative now if we look there are eight items for CSR. The highest mean is for CSR1. So CSR1 has the highest mean value. This indicates that. So now you have to go back to the CSR1 item. What does that mean? In this case, it meant that the hotel showed responsibility towards the environment. So you have to describe what CSR1 actually meant. Now you can reformat this whole table as we normally do in our uh, research paper or research thesis. 
So go to table and create a new table. We normally report items, their minimum value, maximum value, their mean and standard deviation. So let's format the table a bit. Remove the extra spaces at the end. Let's do one. Remove the spaces. The first column is items. The second is minimum value. Next is maximum. This is mean score and then standard deviation. Items CSR 1, CSR 2, CSR 3, CSR 4, CSR 5, CSR 6, CSR 7. But there are 8 items. So if you just press the tab, it will add new row. CSR 8. So what's the minimum value for CSR 1? What's the maximum? 1 and 5 is the minimum and maximum value. What's the mean for CSR 1? It's 3.976. What's the standard deviation? It's 0 0.892. Now you can add obviously the rest of them and just select all these columns. Make them center. Add a caption for the table. Let's say table 2. Descriptive statistics for CSR construct. Italics. Let's remove the borders. Select the whole table. Go to borders. First select no borders. Then bottom border, top border. And the first row will have a bottom border as well. So this is how you can report a table in APA style. Next up is, okay, let's for now remove it. Next up is, now the construct, I want to report the construct based on a certain group. In this case, the group is countries. Now the data was collected from hotel customers in three countries that included Pakistan, China and Italy. First, I need the sample size from each of the countries. Now how do I get this? There are two ways. First, take the frequencies for countries or there could be another way. Let's do the other way. Summary analysis. You can do summary statistics by group as well. But the problem is it won't give you standard deviations or other descriptive statistics. So what I'll do is I'll go to numerical statistical analysis. Let's see this. See, I've got CSR here and I've got country here, but it will only give you the mean scores. So apart from using this or rather than using this, what I'll do is I'll go to analysis, summary analysis, numerical statistical analysis. I've already got it here, all these CSR items, but I do not need these eight items now. I'm interested in the overall score across countries and I want to group this by country. So select country and add it to group by. I do not want the minimum value, the maximum value. I just want the mean and standard deviation. There could be other options as well. Uh, if, if they meet your requirements, just click them and they'll be reported. Press OK. And here are the results. Just right click, export to Word. And here it is. Copy and put it in here so that you can write your results. So the Pakistan. You know, so in case of Pakistan, the sample size was 312. In case of China, the sample size was 278. In case of Italy, the sample size is 181. Now, the descriptive statistics show that the mean score on the customer perception about CSR in hotel customers in Pakistan. So, what was the mean score in Pakistan? The mean score was 3.58 if you round it off. The standard deviation in Pakistan was 0 0.68. For China, it was 4.077. Let's round it off. And the standard deviation was 0 0.58. And for Italy, it was 
and the standard deviation was 0 0.62. So this is how you can report your descriptive and frequency analysis in APA style. You can leave this table here, just click on this, remove the unnecessary column, right click, out of it, window. You can remove unnecessary rows if you want, you just have to reformat it a bit. Let's remove this, let's remove this, let's remove this, we need a bottom border now. Select this, add a bottom border, do some formatting. Normally it's written as standard deviation. It's the mean. So look into your APA guide and you can format accordingly. I hope the video would have helped you understand how to report descriptive and frequency analysis in APA style. Thank you very much.